Hi guys, in this video we will see the construction of an ellipse by using parallelogram method when major axis, minor axis and included angle is also given. This one we will see in the AutoCAD 2007 version. So this is your AutoCAD 2007 version. Then first we will see for the limits. Enter. This is 0, 0, enter and 500, 500, enter. After that check for the units. If it is in millimeters, ok, well and good. If not, change it to millimeters. Then ok. Then Z enter, A enter. This is the basic thing which we will be doing. After that, it is major axis is 150 mm and minor axis is 100 mm. So the parallelogram which you are going to draw will be 150 mm and 100 mm. So select it, the line command and select some point here and draw 150 mm line. So this is your base of the parallelogram. And uh, you want uh, the parallelogram to be having included angle 120 degrees with 100 mm as CD. So therefore, draw right 100, then press tab. So that the angle is shifted. 100 is this uh, 100 here. You can see 100 is the value or the magnitude which is given. Now we are giving the angle. Angle is basically 90 or 0. It is showing because the ortho mode is on. If you are not pressing ortho or if you are pressing polar, you can see the angle is being shifted 0, 50, 100 in that way. So the included angle is 120 degrees. So I am pressing 120 and press enter. As you can see, the line is drawn, which is 800 mm. Is it 100? Yes, 100 mm. And the included angle is uh, 120 degrees. That is, here it is 120 degrees. Again, you can go for the ortho mode on. This is how much? 150 mm. And you can directly close it here. Here, directly you can close it here. Instead of uh, going or giving the angle again, you can directly simply close it. This is how you draw the parallelogram. If you want, you can even check the included angle if it is exactly 120 degrees or not. You can go and use the... See, here you can see the 120 degrees is perfectly there. So, the included angle is perfectly good. After that, it is almost like the oblong method. What is that? Is that you will select the midpoint of this and from that midpoint to this midpoint, you will draw a straight line, which is nothing but your major axis. Similarly, this one becomes your minor axis. That is from the midpoint to the midpoint. Midpoint will be like a triangle, triangle shape. Or when you are drawing it, when you are moving your mouse pointer there, automatically it will highlight and it will show. That is how you have to do. After this is finished, as usual, go to the format option, point style, and change the point style to the required option. Instead of this one, I am selecting this, then press OK. Now, you select the line command. You select the line command. From this point to this point, draw a straight line. Again, from this point to this point, draw another straight line. Two straight lines are drawn. Now, use division command, div enter, and select this line, and divide it into some five seg segments. Similarly, repeat the command div enter, select this line and divide it into 5 equal parts because the previous one is also done 5 equal parts. So here, here it is done. As it is like it in the oblong method concept, you join this point with this along with these other points. Repeat the command again, join this and this, this one also. After that, similarly you can use it from the bottom side also from this point to this point. Repeat the command. We are drawing just straight lines by using the line command, nothing else. Now, for my easiness sake, what I will do is it the first line here and the first line here. I select it and give some separate color. Escape. Similarly, this line and this line I will select and give some separate color. Escape. And this line and this line I will select and give separate color. Green I am giving it here. And fourth line and fourth one also I will give separate color. Just for my easiness sake, I am doing this so that uh, while I am explaining it, it will be easy for you to understand. So after this, this red line should be extended up to this another red line, yellow to yellow line, green to green line and blue to blue line, light blue to light blue line. So for that sake, we will use the extend command, extend, select this red line because until that point we have to extend, then press enter. Then now which line should be extended? This line should be extended. So that line is selected. Then press enter. Again you press enter and press yellow color line, then press enter, then this yellow color line. Again enter. By pressing one enter, you are exiting the command. Again, you are pressing enter means you are entering, re-entering the command. So, green, select it, then press enter, then press this one, it is extended. Then press enter, so that we are exiting the command. Again, press enter, then select this light blue line, enter, and this line will be selected, so that it is extended. Now, after this point is obtained, in the oblong method, what we have done is that, we have selected these points here. In the same way, here also we will select the points. So, this is your first point. I am uh, reusing the point command, therefore I can use space bar or I can use enter bar. So I am using space bar here. What are the intersection points are there? Those are intersection points are selected. Now, if you observe carefully, I I cannot use these lines 
in this other direction by using mirror command for uh, why it will be why they can't be used is this whenever you are using the mirror command you will try to do with this c and d so if i am using c and d you see the points are coming somewhere else because it is an angular mode you can't use the mirror command here for that sake definitely we have to use the again the process should be repeated as it is how we have done in the left side that thing should be repeated this side so that means again i have drawn two straight lines this small straight line here and small straight line here and after drawing these two straight lines what i'm doing i'm using division command div enter and i'm using selecting this line and i'm divide it into five equal parts similarly div enter select this small line which i have drawn here into five equal parts after that the process is same again from this point join to the c point repeat it by using the line command Similarly, join these things again from the bottom point. Also, the concept is same. Same concept. Draw the straight lines from the D point to the whatever the points are obtained. You give the names: one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, one, two, three, four. Here, uh, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, four, five, six, seven. In the way. Here also the concept is same. You can give first point and first line separate color, and second one, second separate color. In that way, you can give it for your easiness sake. Since uh, I know it. I am using it directly. So select this line and press enter, and this line it is finished. Then repeat. Select this line. Then this line. Repeat. This one. Extend it. Select the extend command. Select this line. Enter. Select this line until that it is extended. Select this line. Enter. Select this line. Extend. So you have obtained the other point. P O enter. Escape P O enter. So this is your fifth point. Sixth point, seventh point. This is the eighth point, and this is the another point. So join these all points so that uh, you'll get a upper half of the curve. So I'm using the polyline command. I'm selecting the first A point. Then this is obtained is P1, P2, P3, P4. This is C point. This is P5, P6, P7, P8, and D point. All these points are selected, and the upper half of the curve is drawn. If you want to observe it carefully, I'll select it. And I'm using line weight option on. And uh, here in the properties toolbar, I'm using some line weight, like some 40. I'm using. If you want, you can even give color also for just understanding purposes. I'm using this. So this is how the upper half is done. But it is looking like a straight line. For that sake, we'll use PE command, PE enter. Then select this polyline and use fit option so that it is fit perfectly. After this is finished, press escape. Now many people will think that we can use mirror command because upper half is already there, no? So upper half is drawn. So I'll use mirror command and use A B as my mirror image option. Press end. You see, it is not coming correctly because the angularly deviation is there here. 120 degrees angle is there, no? Parallelogram means. For that sake, you'll not get the correct out. For that sake, what you have to do is that there is one. Uh, basically, what you have to do is that. Repeat the same thing from the bottom point also, but it becomes a hectic job for us. For that, there is a shortcut. Select this line and use copy command. Use copy command and copy it from this point to this point. So what I have done? Then press escape. What I have done? I have just copied the image, whatever the upper half is done. That one I have copied it and I have just pasted it beside. Now select this one and use rotate option. Use either this point or this point, end point, two end points, any one end point you select it. I am using this one and rotate it with 180 degrees. 180 degrees. What I have done? I have just rotated it with 180 degrees. So first I have copied it, then I have rotated it with 180 degrees. Now select this one and use move command, move command, and select this point as your end point and select it and keep it somewhere here. So now Z enter E enter. If I press, you can see that. The upper part, whatever is there, the bottom part is drawn easily just by using two commands. What is that? Copy command and rotate command. And later on, we used move command to move it from one place to another place. Once this is finished, you can give the name here in the bottom concept. You can give the name as a parallelogram method. And the dimensioning should be done. What is the dimension should be done? You can give the dimensioning from this point to this point. It is 150 mm. Similarly, many people think that a linear dimension is enough. But linear dimension, if you give, what happens is that straight line dimensions only will be obtained. But it is something like 86.6. It is obtained, but it is not 86.6. Instead, it is something else. How do you get the something else option? We have to press the aligned aligned dimension here. In the aligned dimension is there, no? You have to press this, and we'll select this line and this line. Automatically, we'll get the correct dimension here. Parallel to that line, we'll get the dimension. That is how the aligned will happen. 
After that, internal angle is to be known. Here we have angular option. You select the angular option, and from this point and this point, we want internal angle. That one also will be finished. So once these three things are done, automatically the diagram is finished. And you have uh, you will write the bottom layer that is by using the multi-text command. We'll give the uh, ellipse by using parallelogram method. That is what we can write. And annotations is compulsory because without doing, without giving the names A, B, or C, D, P1, P2, P3, P4, it will not look correct. So annotations is compulsory. So do that by using the multi-text command. You can go with those things. Um, I'm not explaining them in this case. So this is how you draw the ellipse by using the parallelogram method. Bye.